YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to discuss the different areas of risk management. So before we talked about what is risk management, and that's basically just measuring losses, now we're going to talk about the four main departments of risk management. So the first department is model development, the second one is implementation, the third one is model validation, and the fourth one is internal audit. So model development's sole responsibility, their sole job is just to develop models to predict the losses. So this is a very important job. It takes a lot of statistical skill. It takes a lot of understanding from the business side as well as the statistics to really figure out what's going on, what variables do you include in the model, and are they really driving these losses that you're measuring? Once the model is developed, it's processed, you build the model, you write documentation explaining exactly what you did, how you did it, um, it typically then goes to a validation team. So a validation team will look at your model, they will replicate the work you did. Their main job is to ensure you did your job correctly and that you didn't miss any important portions of the models. So sometimes I have seen people who did a test. They ran some statistical test, however they read the test wrong. It's human error, you figure it out, you make an adjustment, and then you fix the model. Um, there are other issues, for example, maybe you built the model, but you don't have quite the expertise of somebody in the validation team, and they'll pick up that you have more or less uh, omitted variable bias, and so you can add something to the model to make it better. So validation's job is to go through, make sure you did all the data cleaning, the processing, uh, you worked with the business, you used statistics to build the model, you did all your statistical testing, and the model is solid. That's model validation. After that, it typically goes into an implementation stage or an internal audit kind of at the same time, sometimes internal audits before that, which makes sense. Internal audit's job now is to go back and make sure that A, development developed it correctly, and B, the validation validated it correctly. So internal audit is essentially the validation of the validators and of the model developers. They look at the whole process, but it's typically a more of a like higher view of the model development process, the validation process, and they'll look at things statistically, but they'll mainly be looking at things that are conceptual. And then finally, you typically have the implementation. Again, it can go at the same time as internal audit. Usually, depends on the bank, depends on the rules, depends on the regulation. But when you get to the implementation stage, typically implementation will go through the process of actually taking these equations. And so development has all these processes and rationale, but they have this final equation. And then implementation will figure out how do you take that final equation, the final data that you need, strip it all down to just the bare basics and get the calculations you need for business users. So in credit risk, for example, these losses are used in different ways. They can be used to price loans. So figuring out how much interest you should charge a customer based on specific variables. It can be used on different strategies like servicing. So for example, uh, when do you call to collect money? How do you call to collect money? Different things like that. And so the implementation team is typically an IT department. They just take more or less the mathematics. They program them into some format or some platform that's usable for the end user and the business users. Anyways, I hope that gives you an overview of the four main functions of risk management and exactly what they do in the risk management process. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share. Hit the subscribe button below. And as always, until next time. Thanks for watching my video. If you find it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.